In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a particle logo reveal animation in After Effects using the latest Trapcode particular plugin 18.0. You can download the plugin via the link in the description. With that said, let's jump to the tutorial. First, I'm going to create a new composition, name it Render, and all of the compositions we create will be in 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second. Click OK, then uh, create another composition, name it Logo. Then drag your logo to the timeline, press S on the keyboard to adjust the scale if needed. I'm going to set mine to 50%. Then let's create one more composition. Name this one Emitter. Click OK and drag the logo composition to the timeline. Now make sure it is highlighted. So then select the rectangle tool up top and create a simple mask like this. Switch back to the selection tool. Then expand the mask one drop down. Set mask feather to 70. Make sure you are at the beginning of the timeline, then create a keyframe for mask path by clicking the stopwatch icon, then drag on any of the corner points of the mask and move the mask to the left edge of the composition. Go 6 seconds forward and drag the mask across all the way to the right edge of the composition. Now go back to the render comp, drag the emitter composition to the timeline, click uh, toggle switches and modes until you see this column and make the emitter a 3d layer by checking this box and hide the visibility of the layer now we go up to layer new solid name it particles then open effects and presets window and search for particular and add it to the particle solid layer now head over to the effect controls uh, expand emitter settings set emitter type to layer Particles per second to 500,000. Emitter size Z to 50. Velocity to 50. Expand layer emitter drop down. Set layer to emitter. I also set this one to effects and masks. Let's move on to the particle settings. Scroll down, open the particles drop down. Set life to 1.5. Sphere feather to 0. Size to 6. Size random all the way to 100. Then expand size over life drop down, click uh, presets and choose the second preset. Then uh, expand the opacity over life and choose the last preset from the drop down. Let's move on to the environment, expand the properties, set wind x to 100, wind y to minus 50. Now scroll down and expand the displays drop down. Then Turbulence Field drop down and set TF Displays XYZ to 200. Let's move on to the lighting settings. Scroll down and expand the properties. Then expand the shadowlets. Enable shadowlets. Then set shadowlet opacity to 15. That is it for the particular settings. Now let's add additional effects to the particles. Search for Sharpen in Effects and Presets and add it to the particle solid layer. Let's move a bit forward on the timeline so we can see the changes. I'll then set uh, sharpen amount to 100 to make the particles nice and sharp. Then search for glow in effects and presets and also add it to the particles solid. Set glow radius to 20 and glow intensity to 2. Let's add glow to the emitter composition as well and set glow threshold of it to 100%. Now select the particles layer, then go to edit, duplicate or press ctrl D as a shortcut. I'll rename the duplicate to dust, then head over to the effect controls, set particles per second to 10,000, velocity to 200, then scroll down to the displays options, and set displays XYZ to 800. That is it for setting up the particles, let's now add the logo reveal, go to the project panel, drag and drop the logo composition to the timeline below other layers. Then search for linear wipe in effects and presets. Add it to the logo composition, set wipe angle to 270 or minus 90 degrees, feather to 70, set transition completion to 100%, create keyframe, then move to 6 seconds, and set transition completion to 0%. Now we have particles animating first, then as they vanish we can see the logo underneath. In case if the timing turns out not right for you, meaning that if the logo animates before the particles, you simply select the logo composition layer and press U to see the keyframes, then select both keyframes and simply move them forward by a few frames and that should fix the timing issue. 
At this point, we can create a background by going up to Layer, New Solid, name it BG, and place it below other layers. Then search for Gradient Ramp in Effects and Presets, add it to the BG layer. And here you can choose any combination of colors you like. I'm gonna go with Dark Red for the start color and the black color for the end color. Also, don't forget to set ramp scatter to 100 to reduce the amount of color bending. Once the background is done, we can unlock the emitter layer. Then select all layers except the background. Right click any of them, pre-compose. I'm going to name this one final. And as you can see, the particles don't start animating until about a second into the timeline. So what I'm going to do is move the playhead to 28 frames. And this number of frames will vary depending on how wide your logo is. So make sure to find the frame where the particles are about to start animating. So you cut out that blank space at the start. Then press B on the keyboard to lock work area start at 28 frames. After that, select the final composition and press S to bring up scale. Set scale to 150% and create a keyframe. Then move to 7 seconds and set scale back to 100%. This will create a simple zoom out effect throughout the animation. And as our final step, let's go up to layer, new adjustment layer, search for noise and effects and presets, add it to the adjustment layer, set the amount of noise to 4% and uncheck use color noise. This will help reduce the amount of color bendings you might encounter. Let's preview what we have created. And here's our logo reveal animation done. And the beautiful thing about this animation is that I can always go back to the logo composition and uh, use a different logo, let's say the Microsoft logo. So I'm going to bring it in. I'm going to hide the previous Netflix logo, just the size of the new logo, then go back to the render composition. And as you can see, everything has been adjusted automatically without you having to do anything. So you can enjoy making as many of these animations as you like. And that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new in this video. If you did, do not forget to leave a like. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.